darling, it's me, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, the couch potato's favorite tomato. And I'm ripe and ready for a good time. And believe me, as soon as this movie's over, I'm gonna go out and have one. Okay. All right, so who would like to start? I would. Before we start, can we do something? So uh, uh, sure. I feel like we need to establish what uh, who the burden of proof is on before we get started. So uh, I just, can we agree that the burden of proof is on the person making the affirmative claim, not on the audience to disprove him? Can we agree on that? Person making a claim has the burden of proof. Sure. Okay, so, her, so if I said, let's just uh, just so we could frame this up, if I said I could fly like Superman, would I have to prove that I could, or would it be on you to prove that I can't? What? It would be on you to prove that you can. Oh, that I can, right? It's on me. Okay. So if I showed you the most complex math formula you've ever seen in your life, and I said this confirms that I can fly like Superman, would you accept as fact that I can fly like Superman? I bet it flies! I would, uh, I would look at it. Would okay, yeah, and then what? It's okay, so right, right the hand, I am, I am... I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not gonna pull punches with this. You've got to let him finish talking before you I start didn't talking say again. <laughs> let him you answer. Second thing, anything. you just interrupted him. Right the hand, and I'm. I'm just. I'm telling you right now. He said he, 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 said he would look at them. I would say, okay, that was his answer. He said I would look at them, and then he said, okay, and then what? Okay, so he looked at it. Go. Are you serious right now? I, I would have to analyze yeah. it, so it's a, it's, a, it's a strong claim, so I'd look at it. Look okay. at the evidence, look at the yeah. formulas, see what you, the, the math is crazy complicated, you can't even begin to understand it. I can't begin to understand it, it's from you? It, no, it's crazy, dude. There's like tangents, cotangents, sines, cos. It's like it, it. It looks like it's a blackboard full of uh, equations. Even if you did understand it, it would take you 50 years to get through it. Would you believe that I can fly like Superman? You're an idiot. Ding. I don't know what you're getting at here. So get to the point. Well, I, well, just answer the question. I mean, it's, it's, I'm not trying to get anywhere. I'm trying to establish if you would accept a blackboard full of numbers as proof that I can fly like Superman. It's a simple question. Yes or no? I would look at the numbers. I would analyze it, see if it made sense. Okay, and they did. They looked at it, and they did. And, and just because uh, you said sine and cosine and tangent doesn't mean I don't get it. Uh, there's more than that. It's, 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 like, it's actually um, propulsion, uh, re repulsion, re propulsion, repulsion technology. I created it myself. Okay. Well, yeah. Let's look at. So it. you you would believe I you would believe I can fly like Superman. I would look at it. I would look at your. I, you, said, you said you said you would look at it five times, and I've asked you, would you believe I could fly like Superman? And you just keep saying right I would look hand. at it. I would you look need at to it. calm down. Answer, this is supposed please. to be a civil discussion. If you cannot no, calm you're down, not answering. you are not answering. You're obfuscating. Else. Yes or no? Would you believe I can fly like Superman based on a blackboard full of math you couldn't understand? I've answered the question. Move on. You said you would look at it. You said, I know you're going to look at it. And you understand it. So do you believe I can fly like Superman based on that blackboard full of math? I gave you the answer. Let's move on. No. Wh what was the answer? Yes, if it makes sense. I would look at it. See if it made sense. You said nine, nine times he's looked at it now. Today, Junior? I've given you We've my answer. We've established that you're going to look at it. So please do not tell me you're going to look at it. If you tell me you're going to look at it again, I'm hanging up and I'm done. Because we have established that you're going to look at it. Now tell okay, me what okay. you're going to do David, after you, you, you look you at you it. All right, listen. We are, are not going to be doing this tonight, right the hand, okay? Um, so what you need to do right now is we need to move the conversation along. If you don't want to move the conversation along, then that's fine. We can find somebody else or me and MC Tune here can have a nice discussion for the next, you know, 40 minutes or so.
whatever. It's up to you right now. You either link this to how it uh, applies to the Flat Earth discussion, or uh, I, I, don't know, I, I guess you're just going to leave. Because we're moving past this, and if you can't get past that, then you're out of here. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it! That is establishing what proof is. So what you're going to do is then you're going to move to my faith in what light star proves orbital mechanics and mass proves orbital. So I'm just, before we get there, I'm showing you how ridiculous it looks to me when you try and do it. So if you're going to tell me that a blackboard full of mathematics proves I can fly like Superman, when you've never seen me fly like Superman, I'm leaving the conversation. So is that what you believe, yes or no? No, I, I'm not moving. You, you have to say it. You have to say yes. Chris, I will believe... If you're not you moving on, this like this is a producer. Hey! Fuck Tard! Shut the, the hell up! And then we... Shut the hell up. If you can't move on, then you're moving out. Bye-bye! Jesus Christ. Well, that's the shortest Saturday Night fight. Indeed, indeed. I, I think you won by default because the guy can't have an honest conversation.